Grinnell Mutual Insurance Trust in tomorrow for the Drake Bulldogs. It's your regular five and Wilkins, Penn, Sturts, DeVries, and Darnell Brody, the big 6'10 senior out of New Jersey. Roman Penn has been fantastic in these seven games that Drake has won in a row. And for the UNI Panthers, Trey Campbell, a true freshman. Bowen Bowen, the leading scorer. Duax, Titan, Anderson, and James Betts. Your Grinnell Mutual starting in the line. It's our officials tonight. Kip Kissinger, Brooks Wells, and Chance Moore. And we are ready to tip things off here. It is round two of Drake and UNI. Penn will set up the Bulldogs for the opening possession. And Tucker DeVries gets a good look on the opening ball. And too strong off the back iron. Bets the rebound. Oh boy, and Tucker DeVries, that's a great look for him on the perimeter. At back-to-back 32-point -back games after struggling in the last time these two met. Got a good look. Unable to finish early. James Betts, the Panther big man. He can fire it from the outside. We'll see a lot of three-point attempts by these two teams as UNI's defense comes up with the first takeaway. That big-time defense that time on the backside by Duax. We mentioned points in the paint being a key advantage for Drake. Good job closing down the pick-and-roll opportunity. UNI's offense led by Bowen Bourne averages 18 points per game. Here's Trey Campbell shooting through the bump. Averages over seven a game in his first year of college basketball. And Trey Campbell so good in the mid-range the last time these two played. 13 points, just did a, eight rebounds, did a great job getting to his spots. Unable to knock down his first attempt. There's Penn trying to get deep. Finds an open Wilkins who's deadly from the outside. And Wilkins buries his 52nd three-pointer of the season. And so what did you just see? The adjustment from Roman Penn, right? I mean, we talked about him in the open, how good he's been. Well, you see Maestro with the basketball, used the pace, turned it over the first time down, saw how you and I's defense was going to play. That time found Drake's all-time leading three-point shooter, DJ Wilkins, in the corner. Trey Campbell takes advantage of Brody guarding him after a switch, and Trey Campbell gives you and I their first bucket. Now Penn turns the corner. Nice dump off for Sturts inside. Boy, he's good. What a find. Roman Penn, Trey Campbell continuing his mid-range prowess on one side, but number one in gray, so tough to defend. The first time these two teams met, Roman Penn led the Bulldogs in scoring with 28 points, but also had six assists in that basketball game. All right, had a game against Evansville, 18 assists earlier this year. Roman Penn, all-time leading assist guy in Drake history. Tucker DeVries, layup will not fall. Now Bowen Bourne fires his first three and, out, and it falls for the Panthers sophomore. And what a good sign for Coach Ben Jacobson. Bowen Bourne just four of 24, four of 24 from three in his last three games. This is a guy that shoots 40%, 38% on the year. Panther fans, good to see his first one go pure. It was after he made five threes in that double overtime game down in Des Moines. Bowen hitting two buzzer beaters to force the first overtime and the second overtime, but Drake getting the victory. 88-81 was the final. Betts uses the window, and Penn with the rebound. And it's hard to understate. Two buzzer beaters in a game, Brad? I mean, two. Two. It's hard enough to hit one as we see Bowen Bourne. Doing it on the defensive end as well. Taking a charge. Good defense in transition. Well, close captioning for tonight's game is made possible by College Hunks Hauling Junk and Moving St. Louis, which provides St. Louis stress-free moving and junk removal services. Substitution. Sadar Calhoun into the game for Garrett Sturts. Sturts that do it all senior for the Drake Bulldogs out of Newton Isle. He will take a seat. He was born guarded by Calhoun. Now Anderson draws a double team and a skip pass over to Campbell. Betts will fire another three and he connects. This 
missed his first two. It's good on his third attempt from the floor. And that's part of what James Betts can do at only six foot seven, playing against Darno Brody, who's six foot ten, stretching Brody out on the perimeter. Betts, ten points, five rebounds the last time these two played, and his ability to space the floor will be big for this U and I offense. Brody trying to do his best to Roman Penn and ends up out of bounds, but you do have Roman Penn doing Roman Penn things. Finding Wilkins place only the big 12 ivy league ohio valley have as many as five within the two games of first and if you're right the next two weeks it's yeah. going to be absolutely electric well, big matchups too with a lot of those teams facing each other i was just going to say the same thing brad i mean i think that's part of what makes it so fun is when you look at the matchups the last these next couple of weeks especially if both drake and bradley can hold serve it's a big matchup in peoria at the end of the year Trey campbell with a basket and the uni panthers on an 8-0 run after they trailed five to two born and bets with a pair of threes before that bucket by Campbell. Boy, and, and for, for Campbell, for a freshman, just so heady and smooth with the basketball. Doesn't get sped up, does a great job getting to his spots. Calhoun rising for that rebound. Now to Connor Enright. Three pointer is good for the freshman. And oh boy, big hustle off the bench from Calhoun. And part of what this Drake team has done, a lot of experience in their starting five, but it's the bench players that are the X factor. Big time rebound that time from Calhoun and the knockdown from the freshman Enright. Smite the Duax driving against DeVries. And the fadeaway falls short. Connor Enright, the Bulldog, the backup point guard, playing with Roman Penn a little more and more the last few weeks as Tucker DeVries gets his first field goal to fall. Boy, that's just, it's so hard to guard. Tucker DeVries is six foot seven, has a high release, the leading scorer in the Missouri Valley, preseason player of the year, and just a lightning quick release from the perimeter. James Betts with the quick answer, puts you and I back in front as both teams trade punches here in the opening minutes. All right, how about Betts stepping up with confidence, stretching out Brody, knows he has a tough time guarding out on the perimeter, and there's the deflection and the hustle, Bowen Bourne getting on the floor. Bourne pull up jumper, the deep two in and out, no good. As Bourne made his first shot attempt of the evening. And he struggled mightily the last couple of games for the UNI Panthers. Going one for 13 shooting against Indiana State on Saturday here in the McLeod Center. As Calhoun underneath missed the lane. It's Titan Anderson. UNI Panther that's quiet offensively as far as plays that are run for him, but he is a big contributor as he leads the Missouri Valley Conference in rebounds. He'll get some points on offensive rebounds, and the young man can play some defense too. Yeah, I mean, those are the type of plays you get from Titan Anderson. You mentioned this going up top, a misfire there from Trey Campbell looking for Duax, but. Part of what you get from Titan Anderson, all the hustle plays, all the heady plays, as we see another smooth release from Tucker DeVries. But, Brad, you mentioned leading the conference, Titan Anderson in rebound, and has made a huge jump in his second year, year here playing in a Panther uniform, making a play for most improved player in this conference. And he leads the Missouri Valley Conference with 10 double-doubles on the year. And on the season, averages over 12 and a half points per game. An illegal screen called on Betts as Enright tried to fight through it. And substitutions for both teams checking in. So you see head coach Darren DeVries for the Bulldogs in his fifth season. And how about five 20 win wow. seasons for the Drake Bulldogs? Yeah, really impressive what Coach Darren DeVries has done, having to remake the program. Basically, an empty roster when he took over. And it helps when you got, got guys that have played since the beginning, like DJ Wilkins and Roman Penn, Garrett Sturts. 
Bull Henry on the floor for you and I. Ege Peksari with the basketball. A freshman from Turkey. So Daniel out of West Des Moines. And Landon Wolf, a Cedar Falls native. Here's Bourne for three. That's rebounded by Nate Ferguson. Ferguson with a big play in the first meeting between these two teams. Landed himself on Sports Center with the third play of the day. An inbounds pass. Alley oop dunk. And if you're going born, you make those two buzzer beaters. Yeah. And Ferguson gets on Sports Center. That'll get you going. And it could have breeze on the floor here tonight, getting a breather. Leading the Bulldogs two for four shooting as an early three. Five points went down with an elbow injury on Saturday in that game against Southern Illinois. Didn't miss a single day of practice this week. He's ready to go on Monday. And now a double dribble is called on Cole Henry. Take a look at you and I and Coach Ben Jacobson in his 17th season. 334 career victories, a five-time Valley Coach of the Year. Looking at his young team and trying to keep them on the course. And never in a panic mode, even though no, losing never. five in a row, talking to him, he's like, hey, we're, this is the same team that took Drake to double overtime just right, two weeks right. ago. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, ben Jacobson, I mean, he's seen so much in this league. Been the head coach at Northern Iowa for over a decade. Been at the school even longer. It's just seen some ebbs and flows. NCAA tournament success. And, you know, I think part of his unflappable personality see that manifest itself in the way his teams play just really solid on both ends don't make mistakes don't beat themselves Sturts left it short now four turnovers in the Panthers last five possessions as Drake's defense starting to lock down and Enright knocks one in from the outside as that's the fourth three-pointer to fall for the Bulldogs. And the second one from Enright. And how about that? Coming out in transition, knocking it down with confidence. Nice set. Drawn up and a good screen from Landon Wolf. You know, Bowen Bourne, you have to respect his three-point shot. When you set a flare screen like that, the defender has to go over the top. What that allows, if you have good spacing on the other side, is that open back cut. Really nice play drawn up by Ben Jacobson. Wilkins let this not fall through Daniel defending then gets the corner three and it's Ferguson the rebound You see this Panther team willing to play up tempo here when they have the opportunity to push that Stylistically probably favors Drake as you see Garrett Sturts just doing what you expect Garrett Sturts to do Matriculating through the lane a nice little spin move and a nifty finish and the Sturts spin move is quite impressive and Garrett Sturts in select company in the valley is Cole Henry. A quick answer for the UNI Panthers. Back within two. And Panther fans like to see that out of Cole Henry. He's primarily a facilitator, especially on the perimeter. We saw that nice pass a moment ago, but for him to be aggressive going to the rim using that left hand, a nice finish. Talking about Garrett Sturts. He's the Drake Bulldogs. Career leader in rebounds, and look at the Sturts spin move once again. Yeah, I mean, almost a replay of what we saw a minute ago, and he does that. He does such a good job going to his left, coming back to his right, and Garrett Sturts, a guy who averaged, you see Cole Henry, another bucket. Garrett Sturts, a guy who averaged almost 40 points a game in high school. Now he's a hustle guy. He's a rebounder, all-time leading rebounder in Drake history. Does a good job on the defensive end, but still has that little craftiness and the touch on the inside. A walk on back on his freshman season. Wilkins knocks in the triple. Merrillville, Indiana product. Third team preseason All-Valley after being named to the Valley All-Defensive team a season ago. He plays D and shoots threes and does it well. Yeah, knocked down his second one and Ben Jacobson caught just kind of rubbing his eyes as Cole Henry again in the middle. Six points for number one in purple. 
about three for three shooting for Cole Henry. And from the corner, that's a triple by Okai Jamgoose, the junior from Canada. And so you wonder, Brad, you wonder why are those baskets? Why do they look so easy? Well, part of it is the pick and roll pressure that Drake is putting on. Hard rolls by Nate Ferguson allow that opening in the lane, forcing the uh, Northern Iowa defense to help gets open three-point shooters. Ferguson to Sturts, and Sturts gets fouled by Pexari, which will take us to a commercial break. The Bulldogs, a six-point lead as Garrett Sturt head coach Tanya Warren, her one, or excuse me, her 300th wow. career victory. And uh, it's just more to come. Mm. And really enjoys her team. Her team's sitting in the top for first place, just like these Drake Bulldogs are. And they play Illinois State tomorrow here on the home court. They are in a tie for first with. So separation continues late in the season. And man, I tell you what, just those games. Yeah. It's almost like these games are pressure packed to prepare you for the yes, conference right. tournament and postseason play. Yeah, absolutely. And part as you're winding down the schedule, both, the, both what you're looking for, right, as a coach, you're looking for your team to be playing your best basketball. And when you got some, such tough matchups night in and night out, it seems like every Wednesday, Saturday, you're battling for per first place in this league and really preparing yourself for postseason play. Five on the shot clock for you and I. As Betts launches Tough. a deep three and Penn with the rebound. Drake with their largest lead of the game sits at seven. Sturts on the drive gets fouled. And as it will go on Titan Anderson, and for Anderson, that is his first. You know, what a nifty pass by Roman Penn coming down in transition. Shooter in the corner, shooter on the wing. Garrett Sturts funneling himself hard to the rim. Really tough to guard. And Roman Penn, eyes in the back of his head, can find them all. You see Roman Penn started his career at Siena. He's a third-team All-Valley performer and on the All-Newcomer team back in 2020. And then a first-team All-Conference performer in 2021. Third team a season ago. And how about that? Picking up his fourth assist. So we're 15 minutes, just under 15 minutes into this basketball game. Roman Penn hasn't hit the scoreboard yet, but already four assists, doing a good job finding the open guy for Drake. Hasn't attempted a shot yet either. Doing it with distribution right now. Drake on a 6-0 run. The Panthers looking for a basket here. Shot clock at 7 as Campbell goes to work. Out to Pixari. Shot clock winding down. Ege Pixari, no. Offensive rebound for Titan Anderson. That's his first rebound of the game. And now in trouble. Over to Betts. A three from the wing is good for James Betts. And he has eight points knocking in his second three. And a great little ball fake from number two in purple. Pexari faking the shot. A little bit of an up fake to draw the defense. Kicking it over to Betts to knock down the wide open shot. Give up the good shot to get a great one. Good offense there from the Panthers on the second chance points from Anderson. Darnell Brody. Two points tonight for the big guy inside. Give him four now to go along with four. Excuse me, go along with two rebounds here early on. Well, and then Betts on one end stretches the floor, right? We've seen him knock down two threes. What is Brody's advantage? Well, it's it's getting his big butt down into the block and showing off his ability to finish. When Brody goes hard to the rim, really, really difficult for defenses to stop, and he's got a nice touch in there. Sorry, goes back door to Duax. Duax underneath, in trouble. Out to Anderson. And now a shot clock violation as the Drake defense comes up with the stop. On three straight possessions defensively for Drake, doing a really good job closing out to that initial shot clock and just the rotations. So you watch it this side, the players talking, communicating, understanding the scouting reports, not fouling, not getting anxious, staying strong, and drawing the shot clock violation. Well, Drake has made their last six shots. Of the basketball working with an eight point lead. DeVries looking for the largest lead of the night. No, but a Roman Penn offensive rebound sets up Wilkins for three. And Wilkins 
will push the Drake lead up here with 424 to play. A timeout taken by you and I, and we will step aside. The shooting for the game in Des Moines that really helped carry this Northern Iowa offense. They were 12 of 31. 31's putting up a lot of them, but so far pretty good efficiency from the Panther offense as well. DJ Wilkins leading the way with nine points. He has three triples. It's the tenth time this season making three threes or more. It always helps when you have your shooters on the outside hitting shots. Here's Duax getting it to Anderson. And you see Drake consistently sending that double. And then what happens is Garrett starts will rotate out, out and Darnell Brody stays to wall up on Titan Anderson. What does Anderson do? Well, a really good adjustment. Find the open shooter. That time gets it to Trey Campbell. Trey Campbell knocking that one down from distance. Seven points for him. A true freshman out of Cedar Falls hits his first three. Now you and I comes up with a turnover. And Bourne was looking for Campbell who leaked out into the corner. And the ball ends up out of bounds. And that's turnover number five on you and I. A little spacing miscommunication there in transition. Bourne looking for Campbell to continue to go to the rim. Campbell a little further ahead. As you mentioned, Brad, leaking to the corner and... You know, that's one of the ones, Coach Jacobson, obviously you never want to turn the ball over, but what do you want? You want aggressive turnovers. You want aggressive turnovers going to the rim. Got to be happy with the defensive effort that last possession. Roman Penn with the basketball guarded by Duax. Draws the double team. And we'll have a foul up towards the top of the key. And I don't know if they're going to have it on Duax or Henry. It's going to go on Michael Duax, the redshirt freshman out of Dubuque Hempstead High School. We want to remind you to stay tuned for our halftime report sponsored by State Farm Insurance, a proud partner of the Missouri Valley Conference. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Roman Penn turns the corner, gets the lay-in to fall. Well, it just looks so easy for him, doesn't it, Brad? I mean, we talked about his assists. Five assists, only one turnover as we see the steal here from Connor Enright. Another Sturtz-esque spin move, just unable to finish. I was thinking the same thing when he spun like that. Enright, a really good-looking redshirt freshman for this. With the answer. Bowen Bourne now with seven points, and the Panthers hanging tough here yeah, that, in that, his first half. Uh, a big shift from one side to the other as we see Bowen Bourne coming back and knocking down that shot. But watch Roman Penn just coming off that screen, watches where the defense is. Okay, the edge from Cole Henry a little bit slow. Has the speed, the pace, the strength to go around him right to the rim with the easy finish. DeVries, top of the key three. That's a tough shot. Wow. DeVries with eight. Boy, and you, that, that is not, let's not take that for granted, Brad. I mean, that is that is not just something the average person can come out and do. That is big time from Tucker DeVries. Knocked down on the top of the key. Right, take a look at this. Watch. Not a lot of space. This is good defense. This is good defense from Campbell. A little bit of the trail, and Tucker DeVries just catching and shooting. Feeling himself a little bit on the way back down the floor. DeVries can get hot again. Back to back 32 point games and 15 points against Southern Illinois when he went over the 1,000 career point mark. Just his second season. And here's a foul on Penn. Back to back fouls here defensively by the Bulldogs. That's the first on Penn. And after not many whistles in the first, we'll call it 12 to 15 minutes, now a few in back-to-back -back possessions each way. If the players realize and they got a couple fouls to give. Well, and it's been a pretty clean first half overall. Both these teams doing a good job on the offensive side. Is a nice find on the interior from Cole Henry to Duax. Duax just unable to finish around the rim. Now Penn probing, gets it to Brody. As it knocked away, Anderson comes away with the loose ball. And now Bourne looks for a screen out to Duax. And Bourne able to get free. Got it. Bourne, Bourne, 
just needs a little bit of space. Boy, when he gets his feet set on a kickout pass like that, that thing is automatic. Bowen Bourne back in the groove, knocks down his second three of this first half. He's the first Panther into double digits, has 10 points, and Enright a tough two. Yeah, a lot of contact there, too. Thought it could have been an and one opportunity for Enright, taking the contact from Bourne, coming right back with the finish. Drake getting production from their bench. There's Bourne, just rolls off the rim. Last, last basket by Enright. And Drake's seen double digit points from their bench. And they are 10 and 0 when they hit double figures in bench production. Here's Calhoun looking for more. And Anderson the rebound. A right, pretty good opportunity there for Calhoun. The Florida State and Texas Tech transfer reputation as a shooter has had some big games in a Drake uniform. Unable to knock that one down. Conference play, 16 points in the Bradley game with 4-3, 16 points against Murray State. Coming off an 11-point outing against SIU, and you see the height he gets on his jump shot. Born a step back three with three on the shot clock, and now Drake just seconds up on the clock. Tucker from half court, no. And it is a 10-point drift lead at the end of the first. D.J. Wilkins with nine points, Tucker DeVries with eight, and you and I, eight of them in that first half, Wilkins had three. Yeah, and also eight points from Enright and seven from Sir. It's pretty good balance for the Bulldogs, and no surprise to see Bowen Bourne, the headliner with ten. Betts stepping up with eight, Trey Campbell also seven for him, doing his work in the mid-range, knocked down a three as well. Titan Anderson scoreless in that first half, just one shot attempt, and now Titan Anderson is on the board for the Panthers. And I love what Coach Jacobson does right there. So Titan Anderson, only two points the last time these two played. Didn't score in the first half, only one shot attempt, as you mentioned. And so what do you do? You get him the basketball, get him going early. Titan Anderson, a hustle guy. He does everything, but you need him in the scoring column as well as... Roman Penn coming back and doing what we saw the whole first half. I mean, running, picking and rolls, and just taking advantage of what the defense gives him. He does a good job knocking it down in the mid-range. He attempted just one shot in that first half. He made it at two points at halftime, but Drake's leader in career assists was in full effect distributing in that first half with six dimes. And the foul on DeVries underneath. And for Tucker, that's number one. And we'll see if Coach Ben Jacobson tries to run more sets, getting tight in Anderson. He does have a size advantage on the interior against Garrett Sturt. See if he can get going. Number 32 in purple. Points in the paint. Campbell too strong on the three. Here's DeVries in the lane. Brody, his shot's too strong in traffic. And back to Bourne for a three. And the ball is loose. Sturtz comes up with it ahead to Penn. Good find. DeVries looked like he was going to have an open look. Good close out, but gets the two on the blow by. But you look at Tucker DeVries, and at six foot seven, you don't, he's not the, he's not the fastest guy, right? He's not going to go by you with his speed, but his shot fake and respecting that outside jumper creates that space. And he's a good finisher once he gets in the lane as Bowen Bourne unable to knock down his first couple attempts here in the second half. Drake has their largest lead of the game here at 12. There's a tip away by Betts, and now Duax goes up with the flush. And those type of easy buckets are big for a Panther offense that's been struggling at portions of this game and portions of the last few games, getting those easy points in transitions. Good hands from Betts, creating that open one for Duax. The breeze in the corner gets bumped by Duax. For Duax, that's his second personal foul. It's Duax on that defensive end. He brings the energy, and he's got that challenge of Tucker DeVries all night. Man, you see the hedge that time from Betts, getting out and poking the basketball away. Textbook de defense, showing your hands. If the ball's exposed, put a hand on it and getting that open one, the easy two at the other end for Duax. DeVries can't hit from the top of the key. Born, born on a curl route from the elbow, the jumper, 
is so smooth. Oh, well, that's tough. I mean, they, they say that snaking the screen. When you go off one way and then you take a hard cut back right in front of where that screen was. So difficult to defend on a guy like Bowen Bourne who can rise up and shoot from distance. DJ Wilkins trailing at that time, just unable to contest the shot. And dumps it off. Quick pass. And Darnell Brody, the good hands for the finish. And Northern Iowa did everything right defensively. Bowen Bourne was in the right spot. Help side was right there. And Rowan Penn just delivering a superior pass right in the midsection of Darnell Brody, who finishes. And Penn gets whistled for his second personal foul. Trying to keep pace with... Bourne, let's go back to the offensive end. Watch, watch this pass. Look, Bowen Bourne is right there. He's right there in the right position. But watch how tight this pass is from Roman Penn. Knows there's not a lot of space. Gets it right in to the midsection of Darnell Brody. Might have been a tip there as well by Trey Campbell. Fortunate for the Drake offense to get that easy too. Anderson's calling for it with Sturts guarding. Double team comes, Anderson up, and right before the shot clock hits zero. That good patience from Titan Anderson, not in a rush. Good initial defense by, from Garrett Sturts, but continuing to back him down, getting himself near the rim in an area where he's comfortable finishing. Sturts, seven points, five rebounds. Then now guarded by Anderson. And here's a wide open look for Enright, and Connor Enright knocks in his three pointer, number three. Oh boy, that's just good offense again. That time it was the movement off the ball from Enright. Again, Roman Penn coming off those screen and roll opportunities, finding the open guy every time. Duax, a strong move to the rim. I haven't seen a lot of dribble penetration from Northern Iowa, especially from the top of the circle. Duax, number 15, doing a good job, putting his head down, finding the open lane, and getting all the way to the rim. Brody backing down Betts nice. on that block. Good footwork for the big guy. Yeah, how about the nifty move from Darnell Brody? That little up fake. You know, for all the young guys watching out there, I, I think what, sometimes you get around the basket and you get a little anxious, right? You want to put the ball up. That time, really good patience from Darnell Brody, leveraging the defender and getting an open easy two. Campbell dribbled into the sideline, turns it over. Enright wants another triple. How about this? A career high. Four threes dropped by Connor Enright. Boy, as soon as he gave that thing up to Roman Penn, Enright wanted that right back. Roman Penn obliges. Another point in the assist column for Penn and the four three-point knockdown for Enright. Out to Betts from Anderson. And James Betts knocks in a three. That's his third. And a timeout taken by you and I head coach Ben Jacobson. The three keeps the Panthers with a two-time first team all NBC selection for surprisingly great rates. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Bulldogs. With an 11 point lead and hot shooting for both teams continuing here in this second half. Yeah, six of eight from Drake and six of nine from Northern Iowa. It hasn't been bad defense, but both these offenses getting to their spots that time. Tucker DeVries taking advantage of the mismatch. And if you get him at six foot seven or over Born Born, about five foot 11 at eight to 10 feet, that's a matchup Tucker DeVries is going to win more times than not. Tucker DeVries now with 12 points. Here's an open look from the corner for Anderson. And Titan Anderson knocks in the three. That's just his eighth of the season. Not a guy that shoots a ton of threes, but capable from the three-point line. And Titan Anderson, a guy that Coach Ben Jacobson and his staff would like to see get going, get a few buckets here in the second half. That's a deep three. Rebound out to Bourne. A little bit of a settle that time from Tucker DeVries after this offense, this Drake offense has done a really good job as 
Titan Anderson continuing his aggressiveness going to the rim. Strike offense has been really good so far in this second half. And that time a little bit of a settle, but it's been Titan Anderson picking up the offensive slack. We saw the two early. There are three coming to the free throw line when we come back. But not only one close game, Murray State, Illinois State, but setting up for a pretty good finish here as we come back the next few weeks here, Brad. It's going to be a exciting final four games for all teams in the Missouri Valley Conference as Anderson misses the first free throw. Arch Madness 2023 tips off the second through the fifth and the only place to celebrate before and after all the action at Enterprise Center is the NBC Fan Hangout at Ballpark Village. For all you need to know about the Fan Hangout, download the Arch Madness app today. Anderson empty on both free throws and Drake now an opportunity to extend their 10-point lead And we'll see where this Drake team goes for offense both Roman Penn and Tucker DeVries sitting on the bench Right now as we see Darnell Brody Yeoman's work on the inside and and so when you have your leading scores and your primary playmaker on the bench What do you do? Well, you have to make the little plays do what Darnell Brody just did it might not be you know a, a dribble penetration It might not be the pick and roll that creates the opportunity. It could be something like a second chance uh, Bucket a second chance opportunity Darnell Brody doing a good job fighting to get earn that extra possession And right a nice feed underneath to Sturts now Sturts crafty inside draws a foul and that goes on Titan Anderson looked like a bump before the shot attempt but they are going to go two shots on the free throw. Register to win an Arch Madness VIP package, including all session tickets for the State Farm, MVC Men's Basketball Tournament, hotel accommodations, and tickets to St. Louis area attractions. Log on to explorestlouis.com slash MVC contest for complete details. Sturtz gets the first free throw. And now has eight points in a typical Garrett Sturts efficient and productive evening. As he, he's just always around the basketball. Anytime you see a little squirmish or a loose, loose ball, you're going to see Garrett Sturts, number three in gray, more often than not. He's the guy that comes up with it. So patient around the rim, does such a good job drawing contact. It's one of a few crafty seniors as we have a foul on. Sidar Calhoun chasing Landon Wolf around a screen. Right, Landon Wolf, a guy that's been quiet. He had a boisterous 15 points. Bit of a coming out party. He's had a number of good games for Coach Ben Jacobson this year, but 15 points in the nap center was getting into it with the crowd a little. He's been quiet. No points so far in this one. No shot attempts. Cole Henry gets his own rebound. His putback will not fall. As Darnell Brody with the rebound and then Losing his footing is Enright. Bodies hit the floor. Things can get slick. Yeah. And it's a turnover on Enright. Yeah, good to see Connor Enright jump up right away. Always a little scary as you see Cole Henry knock those down in the first half. Unable to finish. And uh, Connor Enright's right foot just kind of gives out there a little bit slick underneath the rim. A turnover for Drake. Fortunate extra possession for the Panthers. Drake a 12-point lead. The Panthers looking for something offensively. Couple nice passes. And Henry gets the two. And Pexari, great timing on the cut and the nice touch pass to Henry. Really good offense there for the Panthers. Pexari, a freshman from Izmir, Turkey. A couple turkey ties to on the floor, one for Drake is Okai Jam Goose has some family in Turkey, originally from Canada, and certainly they're both keeping tabs on family and friends with the Turkey Earth Camp. AJ Pexari knocks in the three for you and I. How about back to back possessions? Pexari making big plays. The touch pass the first time. You're going to go under the screen, knocking it down from three. Good minutes from Pexari. Well, the UNI Panthers hanging tough within sexy. Still certainly up for grabs. And a new format with 12 teams this year. Yeah, the top four seeds will all play their first game on Friday. But 
5 through 12. We'll duel it out on Thursday. The winners will advance. Hey, it's going to make it for a fun Thursday night. You're going to have more fan bases converging in St. Louis. And as we see Tucker DeFreeze, silence in the crowd, letting them know. Man, a big-time shot from Tucker DeVries. Now 15 points for Tucker DeVries. That's his third triple of the game. Five. Born the dish. Henry gets fouled. As it rolls off the rim. Uh, good job. Brody picks up his second. Good job by Bowen Bourne getting some space in that screen. But watch Tucker DeVries. Look at this. Just understanding how to get his space and just telling the crowd to calm down a little. Increase in the Drake lead back to double digits. And they did come out. They were on their feet coming out yeah. of that timeout, yeah. too, asking for a stop. Tucker DeVries, the sophomore out of Waukee, Iowa, the son of Drake head coach Darren DeVries. Brody the rebound. It was the 2021 Iowa Mr. Basketball in the state of Iowa. You guys, Bowen Bourne earned that honor in 2020. As DeVries misses, the crowd lets him know. And going right back to him, though, I like the play call, the facilitation that time from Roman Penn. Sorry, tried to dump it off for Henry. Richard Jacobson asking for a kick violation. Yeah, it looked like it deflected off a of foot. I couldn't tell whether what what that looked like on the play as it was a quick deflection, but Coach Jacobson happy to see a turnover on the other end. The breeze lost it now born in transition. Oh, the seas parted and he gets the lay in. Now with 14 points for you and I had 10 at halftime. And you guys crowd coming to their feet. Foul called on Bowen Bourne. That's his first personal foul. And Coach Jacobson not happy with it. He was calling for some defense. The crowd was calling for some defense. The guys wanted to play some defense. You know, what I love about what I just saw, though, Brad, is you saw the communication between Coach Jacobson and, and his primary scorer, Bowen Bourne. Those two having a conversation. Bowen Bourne trying to understand what Coach Jacobson's expectations were out of that screen and roll and leaving them both in good spirits. Really like great coaching job that time for Coach Ben Jacobson. Way to accept criticism if you're Bowen Bourne. Roman Penn misses the layup. And Pexari called for the travel violation. And now two turnovers for Pexari. He's picked up three assists, had a good spurt after that assist a few minutes ago and knocking down the three, but back-to-back -back turnovers for number two. Trey Campbell checks into the game. Bowen Bourne gets a breather with 9.27 to play here in the second half. Drake with a basketball. Scoreless the last minute, 45. As you and I has made three of their last four. The Bulldog lead down to eight. There's Sturts in the lane, out to Penn. And 10 on the shot clock. Sturts the floater. Tough shot. And that, that is just, that is quintessential Garrett Sturts right there. The pump fake, even though he's not a three-point shooter, hard not to go for that pump fake. He's not a guy that shoots a lot from the outside. The scouting report says, don't go for the pump fake. Let him shoot it from distance. And Garrett Sturts still finds a way to get in the paint. Pixari misses it. Henry, the offensive rebound, and a double dribble on Landon Wolf. As Wolf continues to get a lot of attention defensively, let's go back to that Sturt shot. And so watch this. Look at the patience. Just a nice jab step, up fake, creates his space, the little float game in the middle. Garrett Sturt's just so crafty. You see a lot. I call him, Brad, I call him the back cut ninja because what does he do? Oftentimes you see him snaking behind the defense. Well, he's been scouted for five years. They do their best <laughs> to take it away. Garrett Sturt's always finds a way to respond. That time it's the float game in the middle. See the progression as players go through their careers. Freshman, sophomore might be a three-point shooter. Then all of a sudden, you got a shot fake and add a drive to your game. Here's DeVries 
He's got a few tools in the toolbox. And Sturts lost his footing. They're going to call a foul or a travel. It's going to be a foul on Anderson, and that will be Anderson's third personal foul. And I don't know if we can watch a replay here. I think you'll see. I, I do think even though their feet got caught up, I thought a good call by the official as Anderson reached out, made some contact with Sturtz's arm. Close call there, but I think the right one. DeVries trying to get to the rim. Draws the double team. Penn gets an open look from the outside. And he can't connect his first three attempt of the game. And now those threes that were pretty free-flowing from Drake in the first half and early in the second half haven't fallen the last few possessions. Sturts thought he had a block. He's going to get whistled for the foul. And a timeout on the floor. 64-54, a 10-point lead for the Bulldogs on the road in this in-state matchup. It begins here. The State Farm Missouri Valley Conference Men's Basketball Champion. If you're coming from the north, I was just going to say, especially these northern teams, you know, uh, so playing in Arch Madness, gosh, 15 years ago now, Brad, one of the my favorite parts about that trip it always kind of felt like the, the new dawn, like a new spring. It's a little bit warmer in St. Louis coming from Des Moines and always was a heck of a fun trip for the players and coaches and fans descending on St. Louis for Arch Madness. One of the best conference tournaments in the country. Well, and with a 12 team format for the very first time this season, Man, you think about how many teams feel like they can get on a roll and get it going. I mean, you got six to eight teams that all feel like, hey, let's go down there and yep. make some noise. Yep. And I know there's a few other teams that are planning on doing the same. Right, right. And and, and part of that, you get that from the fan bases as well. And so it's just going to be a great energy and excitement. And, you know, you're going to have three schools with their first time experiencing Arch Madness. It's going to be great for this league. Henry backing down. Nice find. Oh, nice dump off to Anderson. Pixari delivering the basketball tonight. And that's his fourth assist to go along with five rebounds and three points. Pixari's been huge off the bench for Coach Ben Jacobson. Now you and I need to stop on the defensive end. Both teams shooting better than 50% from the floor here in the second half. Drake at 58% in this second frame. Here's Brody. Had to force it up before the shot clock. And here comes Campbell. And good defense that time against the screen and roll from Northern Iowa. Didn't allow Penn anything in either attempt. Anderson goes right at Wilkins. Draws the foul. And Titan Anderson will go to the free throw line. Foul called on Wilkins. That's his first. And some good energy in this building. And why? Well, Eggy Pexari showing off his vision, his goggles, the nice find. Look at this. The look away sees out of the corner of his eye. Titan Anderson on the baseline in the dunker spot. A good delivery from number two. Anderson gets the first free throw. Remember, zero points at halftime yeah. for Titan Anderson. And he's into double figures now with ten. Zero points at halftime, only two the last time these two teams played. We've seen some ISO opportunities on the block for Anderson and snaking behind the defense. Something does he something he does pretty well. The ability to finish. Anderson gets just one of two. The UNF Panthers two for eight from three-point land. Or excuse me, from, from the free throw line. They're shooting better from three-point land tonight. Hunter Enright in the game for Wilkins. And now Penn, crossover yeah. jumper, knocks it in. Roman Penn says, I got this. Just the ISO on the left wing. A little shimmy shake and a mid-range knockdown. Pixari continuing to run that UNI offense and backs home another two. He's got five points and a timeout taken. By you and I, head coach Ben Jacobson, Ege Pixari. Five student athletes in these teams and their journeys to Arch Madness and the NCAA tournament. Tell you what, you got a lot of teams too that 
could do some damage in the NCAA tournament, Adam, and yep. even look that step beyond Arch Madness. Well, you look at Drake, a seven-game winning streak. You look at Bradley on a six-game winning streak. Both teams sitting at the top of this league and preparing themselves for postseason basketball in March. Spurts is stripped. Campbell dug it out of there. And they'll pick Sari off another screen. Henry wants the basketball once again. Had Enright on him and Sturts the bailout tip the, out the, of bounds. That's, those are the type of plays Garrett Sturts makes. Those are big plays, right? There's a mismatch on the inside, and you're not going to see it in the stat sheet, but the deflection out of bounds allows Drake to reset their defense. There's a foul called on Roman Penn. That'll be number three on Penn. Trying to chase Campbell around a screen and back to the free throw line we go for a one and one opportunity for Campbell. Bowen Bourne shakes out and it picks Sari. Gets a breather, gets a round of applause from this Panther crowd. And his high this year, Brad, was three points. He had three points against Indiana State in, in, in this in their most recent game. And Peck Sari, big time energy off the bench. Not only his ability to score five points, but also ability to find open teammates facilitate the offense get this Panther offense going Pixari career high five points and a career high five rebounds ties his career high four assists thus far Campbell into double figures after the free throws here's Penn DeVries gets a good look from three You and I within six here with 433 to play. Henry to Campbell. Campbell now loses his dribble, tries to dump it off to Henry Penn. A smart steal. Henry finds DeVries, who finds Sturts underneath. Garrett Sturts now at 13 points, five rebounds. Boy, and you just don't expect Garrett Sturts to finish with such a high percentage, such great frequency on the inside. Good job, Garrett Sturts, as we see Trey Campbell continuing to find his shots in the mid-range. Second time we've seen him draw a foul on that 15-foot jump shot. And Roman Penn picks up foul number four on the play. Let's go back to that. DeVries looked like he was going to get a shot from the outside and then drives. And dumps it off. Look at DeVries really developing a complete game. Yeah. Well, and part of it is, right, I mean, you see his ability to score it, and obviously he can do that. He's leading the conference in scoring, but as a playmaker with the ball in his hands, it means you can't send two guys. You can't just run at them because of his ability to facilitate as well. Trey Campbell with 12 points now for the UNI Panthers, the true freshman from Cedar Falls. And Roman Penn going to the bench with those four fouls. So Drake, at least for this possession, having to facilitate offense without their primary ball handler. Circuit to Vries. With the shot and the foul on Darnell Brody. Climbing the back of Cole Henry. And a one-on-one and one opportunity as well. Brings us to a timeout on the floor. A six-point game with 340 left. Don't go anywhere. This is in-state action. And what if I'm Ooh, buzzer beaters? We haven't seen a buzzer beater yet in this one. Not even at the end of a shot clock for Bowen Bourne. So wonder if he's getting a little itchy seeing if one of those is in his future. <laughs> There was a few more fouls in that first meeting where by the end of it all, there were three Panthers that had yeah. fouled out. Titan Anderson was at the end of regulation. Titan Anderson fouled out. Trey Campbell, Bowen Born by the end of it all. We're out. Landon Wolf gets his first point of the game at the free throw line. And see what his last five points have all come at the charity strike. Makes it a five point difference. Here is Wolf on Penn. And Wolf making things as difficult as he can for Penn. Now in to Brody. 
The shot is left short, and Anderson, a huge rebound for you and I. Great defense from the Panthers that time. Wolf following Roman Penn as he snakes all the way around the basket. And then Cole Henry holding his spot, not allowing Brody to get to the rim. Great defense from the Panthers. You and I would love to get Bowen Bourne back involved offensively, but Drake face guarding him the last few minutes. Right now, Wilkins is on the job. And here's Anderson able to turn the corner and get to it. It's a three-point game. And a little bit slower rotation that time from Darnell Brody. It was a hammer screen on the backside that Drake did a good job covering. But Titan Anderson finding the gap in the defense, getting to the baseline and finishing. Drake in a tie for first in the Valley standings. Penn a blow by lay in for two. Wow, what a big bucket for number one, Roman Penn. This Drake offense has sputtered the last seven or eight minutes. Haven't been able to knock down shots from distance. Roman Penn getting all the way to the rim with the easy two to quiet the crowd. Titan Anderson with a bucket. You and I's last trip down. Here's Campbell. Crossover working against Penn. Now backs it out. Henry dribbles into a double team. DeVries with the steal. And boy, Tucker DeVries, big time defense. Northern Iowa's offense, that last possession, had a hard time finding an easy opportunity to attack. Cole Henry got it taken away. These two teams coming into this game Tough. on different trajectories. Penn knocking in a tough two right there. And just the confidence Roman Penn is playing with. Gets to his spot again. Loves that mid-range. A big-time knockdown. That stat line, 12 points, 9 assists. Henry banks it in. And a timeout taken by you and I. As Cole Henry into double figures. He is the fifth you and I believe has fouls to give just four team fouls so They can be aggressive To try and come up and steal a possession here yeah, And actually, I think that's a really good ad It might have been part of the reason Ben Jacobson called timeout is telling his team to be aggressive to go after the basketball And to foul early to get to the bonus if they need to So Campbell commits the foul and that is Trey Campbell's first personal foul. Substitution, Ege Peksari into the game for Cole Henry. And look for the same formula here. Trey Campbell going to be aggressive, seeing if he can take the ball away. Five team fouls, here comes the double team. And Anderson just ran into him. That's gonna be number four on Titan Anderson. And now Northern Iowa is going to go back to more of a traditional defense. That's 16 fouls. Next one would be bonus. Good, great coaching that time for Ben Jacobson. Wilkins finds himself in a triple team, and you're going to have a jump ball call. Kind of a quick one there, but it's going to be Drake basketball possession arrow. Will stay with the Bulldogs. And look at that. Catch the ball in the middle of the floor, but quickly converging our Panther and Bourne showing high hands and grabbing the basketball. Timeout taken by DeVries at our time. Getting the ball inbounded here with 51 seconds left. Drake working with a five point lead here. And if you want on the clock, 22 on the shot clock. Well, that was taken out left for Drake. No timeouts left for Northern Iowa. Drake is in the one and one. Northern Iowa's in the double bonus. Good eye brings that defensive pressure. Trapping right now. Not fouling initially, trying to get that jump ball call. And that's that aggressiveness yeah. that you can play with when you want to try and come well, up with a takeaway now. The possession arrow is in your favor. We saw a result in a jump ball here a moment ago. And now for Drake, the ball where you want it to be, it would be either be Roman Penn or Tucker DeVries, the primary shooters at the end of the basketball game. Roman Penn headed to the line. Penn with 12 points. He had just two when we hit intermission. 10 points coming in the second half. 
free throw is good out of Calumet City, City, Illinois. Roman Penn, a big nine for nine from the three throw line the last time these two met. Two for two here. So far, the this announcer one. jinx there. That was front iron, but Penn has your back here. Final 35, seven point game. Bowen Born time. Launches the three. That one's too strong, and Penn with the rebound. And Roman Penn gets fouled by Born. It's his second foul, and it'll be pinned to the free throw line for Drake. And who else to get that rebound, Brad? I mean, who else? It, it's been Roman Penn showing up in every big moment in this basketball game. Assistant in the first half, wasn't an active score. Second half, gets to his mid-range, able to knock it down. Now closing out with the rebound on one end, knocked down a couple of free throws, number one. The point guard every coach in this league wants on his roster his versatility and ability to impact the basketball game. Adam, as quick as this game went, we didn't really get into top performers across the valley. You and I were talking about it beforehand. Tucker DeVries, uh, first team all conference performer. Yeah. Roman Penn's making a heck of a case. His drink, I mean, you hear people talk about Garrett Sturts and just yep. the value that he brings to the team as well, but Penn tonight. Just one assist off a double-double. Yeah, Roman Penn has been great. The, the closing out this season, the last seven games. How about this? 18 points per game, seven assists per game, five rebounds per game. Player of the week in the, in the Missouri Valley last week. He's just done everything he can to help will his team to the seven-game winning streak. And he gets called for his fifth and final foul of this game. So Penn... Finishes with that 16, 9, and 6. It's a nice round of applause from the Drake Bulldog fans that made their way to Cedar Falls. And 22 seconds, still a lot of time, especially as Bowen Bourne. Good free throw shooter. If he's able to knock this one down, Drake's going to have to handle pressure, not turn the ball over in the backcourt. Be able to close this one out. Bowen Bourne with 15 points. Now, he's another guy you talked about. Uh, First team all conference performer this season. Fourth in the Valley with his 18 points per game. Couple buzzer beaters. DeVries gets fouled, will go to the line. Derek Krogman into the game for the Panthers, a sophomore from West Delaware High School. And the ninth team foul on Northern Iowa. So one more one and one opportunity for Drake before getting into the double bonus. You see DeVries' numbers on his night. DeVries eight points at halftime. Now matches that here in the second half. Six straight makes for Drake. Roman Penn, an 84% free throw shooter. Tucker DeVries, an 83% free throw shooter. And boy, both of those two look very, very comfortable at the charity strike. Well, Adam, it looks like Drake will win their eighth in a row. The Panthers will drop their sixth in a row. But for a team who's maybe lost six in a row, this is one tough UNI Panther basketball team. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. And, you know, I think this Drake Campbell knocks down that three. Kip Kissinger blowing his whistle, wants to make sure the clock is correct. This is going to give Ben Jacobson a little, a, a bit of a timeout here to be able to talk to his players with 9.9 .9 seconds showing on the clock right now. But, you know, I think for this Panther ball club, you look at, okay, yeah, so they've, they've lost five in a row. Some teams, especially young teams, might quit. But part of what you mentioned earlier, this coach, Ben Jacobs, and this staff, they do such a great, great job saying stick with the process. You see that demeanor and you get that on the floor as well. Pretty gritty battle here on the home turf for the Panthers. The foul called in the corner. Clock stops at 7.1. And it'll be DeVries back to the free throw line, working with a six point lead. Okay, Jam Goose on the floor for Drake. Two players with 
Boots to Turkey on the floor at the same time. And certainly our thoughts and prayers with anybody affected by the Turkey earthquake is Okai and Ege Pixari for the Panthers, both with family back there. Keep it in touch and certainly keeping their eyes on the international news. And what a basketball game. Adam, not quite the double overtime thriller that we witnessed a couple weeks ago in Des Moines, but man, this, this rivalry is a fun one. Yeah, and definitely what you expect out of a rivalry game as the clock goes to zeros. Both these teams, really good battles. Three straight overtime games before this one. A good effort overall from the Panthers. Just falling a little short. Eight straight now for the Drake Bulldogs. Well, Drake able to keep pace with the Bradley Braves to improve to.